Okay, let's talk about the moon and star in a night beautiful sky. Going to our physical sky and change the time and date to going to the night. And sunset, and this is our night. <clears throat> for, the, for controlling the moon and the star, you have to go yeah, in a detail tab. In the detail tab, you have show moon, show star. As you can see, these are a star. And where is our moon? It's very little. For better showing the moon, as you can see, you can open the moon sitting and change the scale of the moon 10 times. Yeah, this is our moon there. <clears throat> you can change the mounts to bring the moon to good position. Where is that? I think. I think, I think, I think. June. Uh, that's nice. And moon is here and you can render it to seed. As you can see, we have a nice moon in our sky. And then go into the detail and show the stars. As you can see, we have a nice night. <clears throat> this is so you learn you can change the scale of the moon. And here we have a bright intensity. As you can see, we have a bright intensity. You cannot go over 100% or dark intensity. In some months, as you can see, we have a, a shadow on the moon. It's a dark side and a bright side. And you, you have to change your months to achieve that. You can change the dark intensity or bright intensity of your moon in march test the march where is our moon it's down there okay and it's a real the real uh day cycle that you have to play with the months and the date distance scale so all about the like a sound the distance between your camera and your months if you cannot see that you can change the scale custom moon object select the sun you can <coughs> insert as light as a moon if you want if you want your moon has more power you can insert uh, omni light and then uh, go into the detail and sorry <clears throat> yeah, detail and click and drag it here and as you can see the omni light is go snap to your uh, moon and you can control it as a moon if you want and this is on custom this is on all, all about the uh, moon this is on show star as you can see you can turn it on or off minimum magnitude is uh, all about the how many stars actually do you want to be in your scene? As you can see, if you render the only uh, only main star will be appear in your uh, scene, main star in a solar system because of yeah, resize star uh, with magnitude. Uh, if you can if you increase it in a higher number as you can see the main star are more uh, brighter and uh, uh, the size it is more brighten a star you can change the brightness of a star as you can see brighten a star yeah and the star radius if you want you can make your star bigger or smaller if you want nice show <coughs> constellation here is a, a constellation there are there yeah you can make them smaller these are our solar constellation that you can see in your sky you can change your color if you want to grid your sky for some studies you can change the grids yeah 
Um, these are great. As you can see, if you have anti-aliasing problem, you can go to settings, anti-aliasing, and change it to the best. And now we have better anti-aliasing there. This is an all about grid. You can <clears throat> study some star and something in your sky if you want. Show planets. You can see uh, our show our planets. You can change the scale. These are for main plan. Uh, as you can see in a sky, we have planets and a star. You can see the planets and a star, of course. You can change the scale of them. The sky doom light, it means the sun and the moon are emitting light when we turn the global illumination on in our scene. Nice, it's good. Merge sky and sun. Look at this image. For example, uh, we have in a uh, <clears throat> daylight and uh, we don't want, if you merge the sun and the sky, it looks like a HDRI image. And in this image the above, we, um, the sun and, look at this specular, the sun and the sky are uh, individual, they are separated. And as you can see the, in the specular, you can see the sun and it's uh, nice. But if you merge it, but if you merge it, as you can see, uh, you cannot see the sun in your specular. But the reflection is here better. It's its own benefit or some bad points. You can merge the sun. You understand it's very easy. It's merge sun and sky and combine it to the one HDR image. Sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not if you want. These are all about the details tab. They are not about the moon and star. They are about uh, general GI. Physical sky is very good for... Um, it's very important that you turn on global illumination because you have more accurate lighting and shadowing. Here you can change the strength of this physical sky. How many uh, light this physical sky producing. You can change the strength. Strength go up. Saturation, you can, uh, actually you can, if you increase it in 100%, we have warmer physical sky or color. You said it before. Uh, cloud influence. It means uh, you can test it in a night, in a date. You can change it. Uh, if you turn the clouds on, if you turn the clouds on on a physical sky, the clouds are um, trying to doing change the color of your GI. They are you can use the clouds uh, as a source for uh, emitting light. It means you can change the influence, but. We have a changes in the light. If you want, you can change the cloud influence. Just 2D clouds, not 3D. And here is the uh, texture preview size. If you, for example, go to the night, as you can see, we have a bad quality of preview. You can go come in here and change the preview size to better seeing that. But don't go further that 1K. As you can see, you can see better your systems here. Nice. And this is an update editor on. You can automatically update in editor any changes that we want it. Okay, this is all about the moon and star and some sitting in detail tab. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.